Well, up until a few decades ago, a prehistoric beast lurked in some of the rivers and streams in parts of Georgia. Well, TJ Anthony is here this morning to tell you about efforts going on right now here in central Georgia to return that creature back where it belongs. Good morning, TJ. Good morning, guys. So, Perry, it actually is one of two centers where the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, they actually raise a fish. Now, that fish is called the lake sturgeon. It's actually a pretty amazing fish. They can actually get up to six feet long and weigh over 100 pounds. Overfishing and habitat loss, it actually caused the lake sturgeon to go extinct. But the Go Fish Center is working to bring them back. The Go Fish Education Center in Perry, operated by the Georgia Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Resources Division, holds many fish, including a species that dates back to the age of dinosaurs, the lake sturgeon. The original native population of lake sturgeon fish in the Coosa River system in northwest Georgia became locally extinct around 1960. Jonathan Savaris, hatchery manager at the center, helps feed and grow the lake sturgeon fish. He works at one of the two Georgia Department of Natural Resources state hatcheries that raise them. Midsummer, uh, we'll get a, a round of sturgeon, we'll call it a round of about 8,000 two inch fish and uh, we'll work with them throughout the year. So we have a round that we keep for five months. The center in Perry will also keep a couple hundred to grow even bigger. And we'll hold those for a little over a year. Larger fish tend to survive better. So that Go Fish Center um, down there in Perry is really important to our program because they're growing those larger fish for us where we can't grow them in our uh, other facility. John Damer with the Wildlife Resources Division of Georgia DNR says they're stocking more of these fish, some bigger than others, back into the rivers of the Coosa system. We've stocked close to 400,000 of these little guys. The biggest goal really is to try to bring them back as a sport fish. They get they get big, they they fight hard, they're very much shaped and, and fight like a shark. So the Wildlife Resources Division with DNR, they continue to monitor the lake sturgeon population once they're back in the wild. They use things like nets, baited trot lines, and also electro fishing to check the population from time to time. So right now, it is not legal to harvest them yet. If you do catch one, DNR says you should definitely handle it as carefully as possible and also gently return it to the spot where you caught it. Back to you all. Very interesting.